Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about some brand new NAD. Before I go any further, let me just let you into a little secret, right? Sometimes not all NAS is actually that exciting. Some of the devices I will talk about here on the channel are quite niche or they're quite geared towards a very certain kind of end user and I'm just not that end user. And then I'll see the device and then I'll go, well, it's good for what it is and it's built for that task, but it's not really doing it for me, if you know what I mean. I'm hearing about it and I'm kind of, yeah, well, it's good, but it's not really for me. I know who it's for, but I'm just not that guy. I'm pleased to say today's video is not one of those because when I heard about today's products that we're going to talk about in today's video, I genuinely went, ooh, now that, my friend, is my cup of tea. This is the Locker Store 2 and 4. And for those that aren't aware, I've actually talked about both the Locker Store from Acer Store already. I talked about their larger um, 8 and 10 bay variants, the Pro and the non-Pro versions. And we've talked about the Nimbus Store series, the Nimbus Store 2 and 4. Uh, both, um, all of these lines we talked about last year and they've added some since. But these two units, which Acer Store have seemingly kind of revealed quite quietly, I would say, are definitely something to get interested in. And although we don't have any idea of the price or any idea of full on release here in the West, I will say that all the specifications I'm seeing is the sort of NAS that really earns its place in the front lines. We've talked a lot this year about the 920. We've talked about the QNAP 53D series. Now, this takes the logic of some of, no, of both of those NASs and combines it into a middle ground. And that doesn't mean compromise. That means it takes the best elements of both of those devices and manages to put it into this contained two and four bay package. Now, this isn't it. This unit here is a unit that we've still got in testing for a series of videos that if ever these new releases stop, I might actually get to show you some of our NAS history videos that we've been doing on and off throughout 2020 so far, and particularly during COVID and isolation. And there's a whole feature series here on the Acer Store and software there. But the reason it's here on the table, and again, thanks for sending it, guys, was because this is what the chassis of the 4Bay looks like. I'm sure we've got some graphics on screen, but they are utilising this same chassis here. This is an older generation um, ATA store there. And it's very, very similar to this. Hopefully on either side of the screen, we've got the images of the two and the four bay. Now, why should you be excited about the Locker Store two and four? Well, first and foremost, it's utilizing that brand new Intel Celeron CPU, the J4125. It's a quad core CPU. And that CPU is uh, 2.0 gigahertz in clock speed. It can be burst up to 2.7 per core. On top of that, it also arrives with 4 gig of DDR4 memory that can be upgraded up to 8 gig. So we've got some serious, you know, monster CPU for that price point and that tier there. Because I think it, we are looking at a price point here incredibly similar to that of the Synology and the QNAP. Maybe even a pinch lower because Acer Store generally do that. They kind of cut under those guys quite well. We saw that with the Nimbus Store series. On top of that, this device has got a whole myriad of hardware features from both platforms. So if you looked at the Synology platform and you went, do you know what I quite like? Those NVMe bays? Check. Nimbus Store 2 and 4. So that's the 2 bay and the 4 bay both arrive with NVMe SSD caching bays inside. So you've got your standard starter hard drive bays, all of which support those 16 TB Seagate Ironwolf massive drives, as well as you can raid them, of course. But on top of that, you have got NVMe SSD bays built into the base of your device. <clears throat> now, that means that you can ultimately improve the performance speeds of that hard drive array with the uh, leveraging the high IOPS and access times that SSD do provide while still maintaining the high enterprise capacity limit at a lower price point that hard drive bring to the table as well. Now, we're not getting any confirmation right now with regard to those NVMEs being used for more than caching. Almost certainly they're just going to be for caching, but maybe one day they'll open the doors on that. Something that currently only QNAP provide and do quite well from it. Now, let's say you're thinking, hmm, I quite like those NVMe bays. Oh, but I quite like the, you know, um, direct peripheral and um, accessory support and HDMI support of that QNAP. 
Well, Luxtor 2 and 4 has got HDMI 2.0a on the rear there, as well as USB ports for remote controls, supported KVM setup, keyboard, video, mouse, and a myriad of different accessories, both in terms of making traditional non-network devices network applicable, UPSs, and of course, keyboard, mouse, control pad, remote control, and more. But that's not just it. They also arrive with 2.5 uh, GBE ports as standard. That's two 2.5 GBE ports, just like the Nimbus Store 2 and 4. They were the first ones to do that, and they're doing it here as well. What you're getting here is all of those premium interest points that are present from both platforms in this middle package in terms of hardware. It's even got the LCD panel built into the front. It's got USB 3 throughout, one on the front, two on the back. So there's no none of your USB 2 there that I know a number of you, including myself, were a little bit mm, about not sure about USB 2 on a NAS these days. But it is a very, very well-constructed system there, bringing pretty much all of the current hardware trends in flagship models into a single two and four bay unit. And let's take a moment look at that two bay especially, because that two bay arrives with NVMe SSD cache. Now, Synology were the first company to produce a solution like that. They produced it in the DS720 that was released three weeks ago, maybe four at a push. And, they, and Asus Store have got this two bay that's got NVMe SSD cache, it's got HDMI 2.0, it's got 2.5 GBE, all in that one chassis, along with that newer generation J4000 CPU and DDR4 memory up to 8 gig. So in terms of hardware, they are cornering the market very, very well there with that Locker Store series and with three years of manufacturer's warranty on that hardware. But it's not just about the hardware, is it? The software on uh, the Asus Store platform, known as ADM, is probably better than it's ever been, notwithstanding the fact that it's got BTRFS, another Synology selling point that Asus Store have been you know, rolling into their systems now for almost two years. But on top of that, they have virtualization platforms for VMs. They have background snapshots and all of that great th um, um, cloud migration uh, kind of backing up and synchronization options built in as well. A surveillance platform with their own surveillance center application with camera, camera licenses included in your purchase. On top of that, you've got those multimedia applications as well with looks good, sounds good, streams good, all of those first party apps as well as third party applications supported unofficially with the likes of Kodi, but then you've got Plex Media Server, MB, Twonky, loads of applications built in there. And we haven't even talked in depth about HDMI with their dedicated HDMI output, which runs parallel to the NAS system. So you can have users accessing your NAS via the network and the internet, but simultaneously they can have keyboard, video, mouse set up with an HDMI monitor and a dedicated HDMI portal where you can install many, many apps. A lot of them third party, but some definite quality first party apps in there too to utilize it for multimedia, to use it for surveillance, to use it as a standalone Linux PC with Ubuntu, to utilize it as a retro gaming console with RetroArch or Medifen connecting supported devices into these NASes. What I'm saying is the Locker Store 2 and 4 are very much my cup of tea when it comes to buying a NAS, and I do really, really look forward to comparing them with the 920 from Synology and the 453D from QNAP, because this is going to serve as a much, much needed third choice for a number of buyers out there right now that like the majority of what those two brands are bringing to the table, but not everything. This serves as a great way of basically having your cake and eating it in terms of a two and four bay NAS. Now, if you're as interested in these as I am, let me know in the comments. There's of course can be a link to NAS Compares and Span.com in the description where you can keep updated on these devices as we learn more. And of course, I'm going to be comparing them and providing you guys with hardware reviews as soon as these hit the market. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Do click like if you've enjoyed it. Click subscribe to learn more and I'll see you next time.